South Dakota High School football on Friday night in Sioux Falls at Howard Woodfield, 5 o'clock. Brandon Valley taking on Sioux Falls Lincoln. Brandon Valley, the defending 11 AAA champions. Sioux Falls Lincoln got thumped in the first round last year by O'Gorman, but both teams are 4-1 and one so far this season, both with losses to Sioux Falls Roosevelt, but this is another epic matchup, Jandy. You know what? Both teams are very different than last year's teams. I think Lincoln has really taken a huge step forward with some key wins over the last three weeks especially. And Brandon Valley, you know, they're riding high. Everybody was picking them number one coming into the season. They've had a couple struggles here in the last few weeks. I mean, they played kind of down to Watertown's level and Aberdeen Central's level. Not that that's a huge dip, but they really want to reestablish themselves as the true number one in this class. Yeah, Lincoln, uh, after they lost to Roosevelt in the second game of the year, had that win against O'Gorman, beat them 48-23. to That kind of opened some eyes a little bit. Got the O'Gorman win. They got the Washington win. Uh, they came out and got a nice win last week against Aberdeen Central. And now they're really looking to put the state on notice to be an elite team to go against an elite competitor like the Lynx. Both teams have really good running backs. Let's talk about uh, Tate Johnson at Brandon Valley, a junior little guy, five foot eight, 170 pounds, but he's got 11 touchdowns already in five games. Last year, it was kind of a 50-50 split between Jesse Steffel and Tate Johnson. They decided this year, Tate can handle the load, and he can. He's got by far the most rushing attempts of anybody in the class, and uh, Jesse Steffel, they're able to use primarily on defense now, which really helps him out to give him a rest on offense, so it's really worked out well and they have leaned heavily on Tate Johnson this year. On the other side for Sioux Falls Lincoln, another little guy, Isaiah Robinson, a junior, 5'4", 140 pounds, yeah. he's really, really fast, eight touchdowns on the year, averages about five and a half yards a carry. They're one of those deceptively fast guys. Isaiah Robinson's given them a whole different look offensively this year. He came over from Garrettson last year, uh, joined the Lincoln team, and gave them a shot of electricity in the backfield because you know what you're gonna get uh, with this big offensive line, but it's so hard to see Leo Kay, another small running back, and Isaiah Robinson, by the time you locate them, yeah. they're already 5, 10 yards down the field. All right, the quarterbacks, a couple of guys that have been around for a couple of years, for Brandon Valley, Thomas Skolton is a senior, 10 touchdowns, no interception so far through five games. What do you know about the passing game for Brandon Valley? He's one of the most efficient quarterbacks, and he's not going to force it. And that's what I like about Thomas Skolton, is he's letting the running game establish itself. They run the ball about 70% of the time, and then when they come play the run, that's when Thomas Skolton will hurt you. And I think that takes a lot of discipline. It's going to take a lot of discipline for this Lincoln defense to not get sucked into this 70% of the time running and then Thomas Skolton going over the top and getting the big one because he does not throw picks uh, and makes very, very few mistakes at quarterback. And then for Lincoln, junior quarterback Tommy Thompson, uh, they throw it a little bit more than Brandon Valley does, but Thompson's at 68% completions, yeah. over 200 yards a game, 10 touchdowns, and just three interceptions for Tommy Thompson. One of the most accurate passers and since the O'Gorman game, he has been what I would call explosive. He makes some huge plays in the passing game because Hunter Merkley is finally making those big plays at receiver, and he's got a host of weapons that he can throw the ball to, and Tommy Thompson has about the most confidence of anybody at the position in the state. The numbers just indicate a bang-up matchup. Uh, Brandon Valley averaging 34 points a game, giving up 20. Lincoln averaging 33 a game, giving up 18. Almost identical numbers this should be really good and it's really fun this year because triple a all plays each other so the schedules and when you do these comparison statistics it makes Pretty a accurate, lot yeah. it makes it a lot more realistic and i really do think both of these teams are going to use this game as a vaulting point to see where the rest of their season goes all right there are four teams at four and one right now in 11 triple a these two along with harrisburg and roosevelt but uh, something's got to give on friday at five o'clock Brandon Valley taking on Sioux Falls. Lincoln.